Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. This past couple of weeks I've been showing you things that have been free items from the Celebration catalogue. And this is a catalogue where if in Canada you spend $60 on any items such as um, the current catalogue, clearance rack, um, paper pumpkin subscriptions, you can earn free items. And the $60 entitles you to get one of the level one items, which are things like this stamp set. Oops, can't turn the page, sorry. Um, more stamp sets, paper, sequins and trim, uh, another beautiful little stamp set, a little card kit, more paper. If you, oh, more stamps. If you decide to spend $120, you can have a level two item or two level one items. And level two are things like these little punches, this beautiful set with the stamps and an embossing folder. Lots and lots of different things in here that you can choose from. And what I decided to do today was to open one of the sets that I got, which was this kerchief card set. And it makes eight cards and envelopes, has everything in it that you need, and it's free with a $60 item. So you get to make eight cards for free. So I've started to make them, and I've made one of each. I've made this one, which is the greeny blue one, and this one, which is the red pink one. And they have matching envelopes. See, they've got the, the little matching paper inside. And they're really quick and easy to make, and very sweet little cards, actually. But I might make mine just a tiny bit different. So this is the kit as it comes and it has twine, it has little glue dots, it has dimensionals, all of your envelopes and then some pieces of vellum and different vellum as well. Oops. And then it's got some of these little cut out pieces that you just press out and they're ready to um, attach. And little gold foil pieces. The sentiments are all ready printed. So, and they're printed in different languages if you want to send one in French or German or, or just in plain old English here. They're all ready printed and again, they're just press outs. Let's move that card. And then these are the bases. You get four of each. So let's start with making this, this colour one. Now, there is a Stampin' Up! video that you can watch on YouTube of how to make them, but also it's really easy to follow the instructions. Both of the images for the cards are on the back and it will tell you what you need. So for the blue one, it will tell you how long to cut the twine that you need, how many of the little gold leaves, which items are on dimensionals and which items are on um, just the little glue dots. And then on the inside, it gives you a couple of tips as well. Uh, if you haven't worked with vellum before and you need to adhere it, then when you put a glue dot on the back of vellum, you can actually see it. So you just need to remember to put it somewhere that it can't be seen. Or on this dotty one, it goes behind a dot, but I'll show you that as we're going along. And then here it also shows you where the video can be found if you need to watch the video. And really, there are so many ways that you could decorate these with the pieces that you're given. You can add your own um, extra little embellishments. You could add different um, sentiments. If you don't want to put a bow on, you don't put a bow on. You know, you just make them whatever you want them to look like. So let me just move some of these pieces and we'll make the red one. Now, the dimensionals that come in here 
are wonderful, but I already have some that are already started. So I'm just gonna use my pack that's already started. They're exactly the same, same size and everything. I will be using some of these little glue dots, but I find these a little bit tricky. Um, they're just a bit small for me. So I will be using my own roll of glue dots as well. And I might even use some of my liquid glue. You don't have to use these, but they're there and everything is in the set that you need. Okay, so let's have a little look. I'm going to follow what it says on the back here and it tells me to cut 12 inches of twine. So I'm just gonna measure 12 inches. There's my twine. And while I've got it out, I might as well make it into a bow. Now they are quite large bows on these cards. So if you want to do it a little bit smaller, you know, that's fine. So I ended up trimming a tiny bit off mine just because I couldn't make the bow be in the middle. And can you see, like I've got an extra inch tail on here. So I'm just gonna chop it off. Okay, and then, so here's the card that I'd already made. I'm gonna put that there to help me as well. And I need four large gold leaves and two small. So I'm just gonna push these out because they are already punched. So one, two, three, four, and then two small. And I don't know if you can see as I'm punching these out, there is quite a lot of gold around the edges and you would be able to use some of your punches, like the little Bloom's flower punch, and actually get some more pieces out of here. Even the sprig punch for the leaves, you'd be able to get sort of half a sprig on here just to use on different projects. Okay, so let's see. Uh, doesn't tell us that we have to get anything else out. So it goes this way. There's no reason why you couldn't make it go this way. It, you know, just move it around however you want it to be. And then it says to attach these with the glue dots. And as I said, these are a bit small for me to use and for my eyes. So I'm just gonna use my roll. And I'm just putting one glue dot on the very bottom. And I know from the picture whereabouts these need to be. But first, I need to put my vellum on, don't I? <laughs> Nearly forgot. Okay, so this piece, you're not going to be able to see any adhesive that's sort of in the middle of the vellum. So that's where I'm going to put my little glue dots. And I'm just going to put three. So one. Oops. Two, three. And that will be enough to hold it. It isn't going to hold the edges down. Sort of, oh, let's put that back there straight. It isn't going to hold these edges down, but that's fine. I think that's the look that it's meant to have. Um, and the rest of our embellishments will hold it down a little bit more anyway. Okay, and then according to the picture, Let's see, let's put that there so we can copy it. We've got one piece that sticks above the vellum here. Let's get another one. Our other one just goes to the left-hand side. It's not quite as high up. And then the same at the bottom right. So let's put those ones on next. This one's the longer one. And then a bit of a shorter one. So we'll just stick it further up. And then these two little gold ones. Now on my first card, I did put them that way up. That was the way the picture had shown. But I actually quite like them back to front. I like them like this so that it just sticks out a little bit and ties in these little white flowers here. So that's what I'm going to do on this one. Let's see, I'm just going to have them so it comes up in the middle like that. And the same at the bottom. Yeah, okay. 
Next of all, we need this thinking of you sentiment. So let's get our pre-printed ones out. And we need our little bow. Where did I put that little bow? Um, there it is. Okay, I might end up trimming this just a little bit more. Okay, and I'm just going to put dimensionals on the back. I'm just going to put three across. There we go. Oh, got my thumb stuck on it now. And then I'm just sort of lining this up, making it look even. There we go. And then for the back of this, I'm just putting a glue dot on. I'm going to squash that glue dot in a little bit so that I know it's on all of the twine. And then they have it underneath this sentiment, but I actually quite like it showing a bit more. So I'm going to put mine on the top. And then, there we go. So you can still see the sentiment, but the, the bow is a little bit more prominent. And if you want to tuck it under here, just let me get my... Um, tweezers you can certainly tuck it under here like they did I, ju I just like seeing all of the bow but it certainly can go under there too and then you can trim let's just move that down a bit and you can trim this twine to however long you want it to be so there's the first card and what did it take us about four minutes and that was only because I was going slowly so, you know, you could make this whole pack in an hour. Let's get the next base. So now we need the blue one. Let's put that one aside. And this one I think would be lovely done horizontally as well. So that's what I'm going to try right now. Let's see what we need. You need 12 inches of twine again, two large gold leaves and one small leaf. Oh, here's my two large leaves. Oops, one, two. And now you can see how much of that gold is left. So don't throw that out. Keep it and uh, punch out some of the little bits and pieces. I'm going to take this one because it says one small leaf. And then I know that we need one of the blue roses, the Coastal Cabana roses. We need one of the blue ovals, and I've already actually got one that fell out earlier. And what else do we need? We need this vellum. So let's find that vellum. And here, I am actually going to use a couple of their glue dots. Just because they're a bit smaller than the glue dots on the roll, and I want to put it behind the corners on just a couple of the pieces just to keep that down a little bit more. Now what I find fiddly about these is taking this paper off, leaving the glue dot on the acetate and then getting them off. And it can be done, I just don't always have that patience. Okay, but you see how they're the size of that gold dot? So when you attach it on here, you're not going to see any of the adhesive. So I'm making an exception just for this. <laughs> Let me see. Let's put one over here. Oh, stuck to my thumb. There we go. And then I'm going to do another one. Let's take that off again. I'm going to do another one just at this corner over here. So that we've got three. And if it was going this way, let me just check where my three are. Yeah, I know I've got the three there. One, two and three. So I could put um, different adhesive down here because you're not going to see it with having the little flowers there. 
but because I'm going to turn it round, I'm just going to leave the three there for now. And then I'm going to get a couple of my larger ones and just stick them in this corner. You're not going to see them. And it's just going to hold that down much nicer. There we go. These small glue dots are the ones that you get in paper pumpkin kits as well. And I don't always use them in the paper pumpkin either. I quite often just use the Stampin' Up larger glue dots or my liquid glue. Okay, so that's that one on there. And you can imagine it's going that way around. And I'm just changing it up. I'm keeping the design the same. I'm just changing the orientation. Now this, it says, is a glue dot one. But I'm actually going to do it just with the wet glue on the corner here. And then the leaves go on the top of it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop it in the corner like that. Okay, and then my leaves. I'm going to put these on with the glue dots. Oh, I need a green leaf as well. Let me find those ones. Here we go. These green ones. So I'm going to pop that one on with a little bit of glue. I'm just going to put it so that it's a little bit over the vellum and a little bit over the border here. And now I'll put these on with my glue dots. And it's going to be a very popular little kit, this, because it's so sweet and simple. Uh, I think lots of people will be ordering it. So if it's one that you really, really love, it's one that you should maybe get first. Consumables usually sell out fastest. So things like the designer series paper um, and card kits sell quickest or are chosen maybe the fastest. Um, they don't sell, of course, because they're free, but, but they do go first. And uh, I know a lot of people will buy them for retreats. They might they might have a retreat where they've got 40 or 50 customers going uh, to stamp with them. So they will get all their items that they need and maybe order 40 or 50 sets. So if there's something like this that you like, it's good to get these first. Stamps usually last longer because Stampin' Up! make their own stamps in the States. So it means that you know they can get those easier than maybe some of the other consumables. Okay, now our rose is going to go on here and it shows that our twine, I do have one already made, it shows that our twine goes on here but it's underneath this blue piece and again, I'd, I'd like to be able to see it but I might try it just under there. I won't stick it on yet just in case. And then the sentiment is the Celebrate Today one. I get that. And it's got dimensionals on the back. So I'm just going to pop three on. And I found on my first card, when it said to put the, the rose on, it was with um, the glue dots. And then a little bit was to go over this piece that is on dimensionals. And I thought this time I might try the rows on dimensionals as well so that it just popped up a little bit and it was the same height as the sentiment. So I'm going to put some on the back here as well. Now they haven't actually given you um, tons and tons of... Uh, dimensionals that you can use extra ones of these but you can use see the edges these like little pieces all around you can use those pieces to stick it on with so you will have enough of the dimensional but just not the little um, honeycomb shaped ones okay whoops. let's see where I want this I want to see just that little white bit of the flower and still see a lot of the navy. And you'll see also that, that little gold small leaf, I put it the white side up again as well. Because I do think it looks pretty that way. 
Okay, and then I can still tuck this under here and I'm going to have it going across in the same sort of place. But now the rose is not squashed down at all. It's the same height as this. And I'm going to put a glue dot on here. Let me decide. No, I, I still like it so that I can see the whole of the bow. So, yeah. So I'm not sticking it under the navy blue piece. I'm going to stick it on the top. I just want to see all of that twine bow. Okay, now that would be really pretty if you used Wink of Stella and went over that little coastal cabana rose. I think that would um, be so sparkly and so nice then. I would just add a little bit more too. So there we are. That's my, that's some of my little card kit from the celebration selection. Let's put those there really really easy cards to make and uh, I think this one's my favorite actually I, I love that coastal cabana blue anyway but uh, I think that one's really quite striking and next time I think I am going to make this portrait and uh, I'll try putting the the gold leaves this way and uh, the banner across I think that would look pretty too so there you are. If you are going to place any order with any of, dem of the demonstrators, you know, I think this is a really nice freebie. Uh, I think it's an easy one to make. You can change the sentiments. You can you know, use your own stamps and make it say happy birthday or get well soon, whatever you want. But I think it really is a nice set and one that will go quickly. If you don't have a Canadian demonstrator and you would like to order something, just drop me a line or pop over to my blog, thecraftsbythebow.blogspot.com and there's all the information on there on how you can order and you can go to my online store and order too. So thank you for watching today and I'll see you all again really soon. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.